when I'm not streaming Catan or working on my cars or at my full-time job, I'm working on the home appliances to keep them up and running. When working on your uh, combo dryer washer Whirlpool Heavy Duty Thin Twin, when you're working on the element replacement like I am, you'll come around if you have a cutout in the wall like I do. If not, you may be able to easily access the back of yours with no cutout or nothing in the way to get you from standing right directly behind it. But there will be 10 uh, 5 16 head screws. They uh, look like this. So we will get all those taken out. Then I will show you the element and the thermal fuse that I believe blew again. And we'll test those with a meter. Okay, so we got all 10 screws off and I gently placed the back panel down there. And this right here is the thermal fuse that I will test with my meter on the continuity test or to test function and I will change it from this symbol over to that continuity symbol and when I touch the leads together if I can do it with one hand the meter will beep letting you know that it's functioning correctly and then also the element is in this housing and it is that quarter inch head screw and it is that quarter inch head screw and then it will slide out from there and then you'll be able to see the uh, the elements on the other side of this casing so if I can continue to do this on video because you're gonna want to hear the beeping or non beeping sound for me touching the both ends of the thermal fuse and this is one that I replaced but uh, my coworker told me, who's worked on this stuff before, that if you replace a thermal fuse but it blows again, chances are it's the element. So as you can see, I have both leads touching, making contact, and I'm not getting any beeping noise from the meter. You don't hear that at all. So I am not, I have a bad thermal fuse again, and this time I will go ahead and order a new element and replace that and just so you hear a beeping noise from a functioning dryer component I will put the leads on this piece here that connects to the element and you hear a beeping and it was when I placed the leads on these two contact points of this piece that does connect to the element so now to remove the element, I will take apart or take those two quarter inch head screws that I showed you and take the element off, and you'll get to see that. Okay, so get those two bolts, two screws out. The element, you can see, just work its way down. And then when you lay it out, this is what the coils in there looks like. These, uh, I guess, springs in here. And um, when the 240 outlet plug is, is plugged in and I turn the dryer on these will actually glow red within a matter of seconds and there's no way to really test it now since I already know that the thermal fuse is bad with this that's being the replaced thermal fuse as of two weeks ago so I will get a new thermal fuse or get a new element and it this might get to a point where if it just keeps breaking then I'll just have to get a whole new washer and dryer here nowadays they make combo ones where it's a washer and dryer in one housing one unit so we'll have to uh, think about that for the down the road but for now I will also check um, with my meter the continuity on the other components so if I get a beep on all the other components that way I know only just these two need to be replaced perhaps I need to do more research to see if uh, more things could fail if, if you just kind of need to replace all of these components in here instead of just the two that failed but we'll get into that in the next video